Welcome back, everybody. Well, about two or three weeks ago, I've gotten an email um, from a company wanting me to test out a uh, solar street light. Yep, a street light. And uh, I said, yeah, sure, let's uh, give it a try. So uh, it took about three weeks to get here, and we're going to unbox it, and we're going to take a look at it. And uh, don't let the name uh, throw you off, street light. I mean, I guess you could probably put it out there on the street, but... Uh, we got a number of places here in the, you know, on the property that uh, are quite dark, and um, we're going to see if this. Uh, we're going to pick one of those spots and get it up uh, suitably high and uh, give it a test. So, without any further ado, let's uh, go ahead and unbox this thing. Let's take a look in here. First reveal. Get the old uh, styrofoam out of the way here. All right. And as you can see, this is a pretty big thing. Mounting instructions. All right. First look. I'd say, wow. Okay. All right. Well, this is the uh, LEDs. Bunch of them. All right. Solar street light. You can see the little green light on already. So she must be uh, getting some energy out of the sun already. Alright. The solar panel in. You can see the adapter that's going to fit on the pole. Alright. We got white pole. Okay. Looks good. All right, we got a little remote with it. We got the batteries and we got some uh, mounting uh, screws and stuff like that. And that looks like if you want to go into, you know, wood wall or masonry or something like that. And of course, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use the screws that are bolts that are already attached and we're going to go in here about like that tighten everything up and then we'll find the appropriate place to put this up i've got a number of places uh, i'm considering i've got some places i can really get it up way high but uh, not well traveled or moderately high that are well traveled so we'll make that decision here in a few all right let's take a look here at the uh, instructions real quick and it touches on the matter that considering safety problems during transportation of batteries the battery power is only at about 10 per 10 to 20 percent after leaving the factory and after a long period of uh, transportation stores the battery will gradually decrease uh, therefore uh, you want to probably give your uh, lamp 8 to 12 hours in a sunny environment before using it better effect can be achieved only after the battery is fully charged the solar street uh, street light uh, can't work without sunshine it is required uh, that there be no buildings or trees that block the lamp that way direct light can't get to at the panel solar panels installed in glass or indoor only when the uh, cannot be installed in glass or indoors only when the solar panel is installed correctly can you get the best charging effect all right the remote control is facing uh, the receiving head of the light otherwise the remote control is not sensitive the cleanliness of the panel the surface and it will uh, also affect the power considerations okay that makes sense all right and it gives you some temperature ranges and stuff like that and should you need to contact the company for uh, any problems it gives you a number of ways of doing that email Facebook Pinterest Twitter Instagram and you got a couple of installation uh, pictures there okay obviously you want to have your uh, solar panel pointing up toward the sunshine all right and the LEDs in a downward motion all right introduction of integrated solar straight lighting design okay a new high capacity lithium iron phosphate battery okay all right solar power Generation system, pure green energy, inexhaustible. All right. Using the LED lighting source, no diffuse reflection effect. Highly efficient illumination. The show fruit is uh, made of 
uh, ABS material. All right. And you get a uh, diagram there of the stuff that's in the uh, packet here. All right. There is uh, what the uh, various buttons on the remote are. Okay. On, off, 25% brightness, 75% brightness, uh, infraction by radar, rain induction by radar, six hours to radar, three hours to radar, eight hours. And you got various brightness levels, 50, 100%, two hours to radar, five hours to radar. All right. Then you got the radar sensing function. People walk to the sensing area, range five to 10 meters. The lights uh, are on. When someone comes, the light will be 100%. When someone leaves the sensing area, the light will be 20%. People are in the sensing area all on. People have are leaving the sensing area and light up slightly. All right, this sounds pretty cool. All right, let's get these uh, batteries in here. Sorry for all the bird noise, but... Alright, this is a, a slightly lower spot. Uh, we'd be, be moderately high, but I'm thinking about putting a pole here uh, with the light attached to it. And as you can see, the sun, the eastern sun's over there. Okay. And uh, this will put it up about, oh, about 10 feet high. Alright, another spot that I'm considering, which would be not very well traveled. No one really comes through here. And here is a, a ham radio antenna. We could go up there, but I'm really thinking the, the spot that's going to give us the best uh, service is going to probably be right here by the sheds. Because I'm always coming through here, and once the darkness falls, it really gets dark. All right, we got this thing mounted on a little bit of a pole. We haven't put it up uh, high yet, but just for some reference, show you just how big this thing is. Now, that's the light end of it and uh that's the solar panel end of it and she's gonna go up above the uh ridge of that there shed which i don't know probably 11 12 feet give or take okay, we are mounted and uh we got about maybe seven or eight hours of uh light left um I might move this light depending upon how it acts because uh, we're underneath a, a large tree but as you can see we're <laughs> a lot of trees but uh, we got a lot of open sky to the east so it means uh, up until about three or four in the afternoon this should get plenty of light but it's up there uh, about just shy of 12 feet so um, we'll see how this works all right let's get the uh, remote up and see whether we can get a any uh right and reading the uh instructions it did say to try to get it to face uh south as much as you can and uh, we are facing south and we're sucking up the uh, sunlight it's a big tree up here but uh it really has no impact until oh i don't know seven or eight hours into the day and and then it lightens opens back up over here the last two hours of the day so we'll give us a whirl man we still got uh six or seven hours of daylight and I have it, uh, like I said, spun on the pole where it's sucking up as uh, much light as pos possible. And uh, this might be a good position anyway because this is the uh, area that uh, it really gets dark over here and it's hard to see. So it, uh, We're about the 2 o'clock uh, p.m. Uh, the sun is at full high. You can see the green light inside the... Uh, lamp charging we still got several more hours of direct light so we should be okay got up here up on the scaffolding 
make sure everything was all tightened up and stuff. Kind of a little windy. She's getting up right near uh, darkness now, and we'll see exactly what this light will do here very shortly. It has now gotten dark enough for this light to automatically turn on. Alright. Let's see if we can, uh... Alright, it is currently on 25%. Fifty percent, seventy-five percent, and it's a hundred percent. All right, and if you put this on, it's on automatic or radar sensing. And you can set it for two hours, three hours, six hours, five hours, eight hours, but. Uh, We'll move away from it and see what happens. It is on the sensing mode. And it's very sensitive. And I am tucked away over here behind uh, one area of the house. And uh, if I move just a little bit, it picks me up. Very sensitive light. I have this light uh, over top of an area that I do a lot of work, even in, into the darkness. Uh, you can see a little deck thing that I have here and do a lot of work and everything. I just pressed it down on to 25%. But uh, it is really powerful. It's uh, very bright. This is at 100%, and I mean, this is easily uh, bright enough to continue working. And I backed it down a little bit. All right, I've taken it off of the sensing mode, and it is on, uh, just on, and it'll stay on for two hours. And like I said, you've got the options where it can be, uh, Two hours, three hours, six hours, five hours, or eight hours. And of course, you can just turn the thing completely off. And at that particular mode, it'll stay on for two hours at 25%. Okay, I'm really impressed with this. This is uh, okay. Really neat. Like I said, okay, let's try. That's at the 100% mark. And like I said, it's bright all over the place. Uh, you can easily continue uh, working out here. And currently working on a project, uh, just recuperating a bunch of pallets and all that and you walk over here a little bit and this is a a spoon mule that uh, I build spoons and carve spoons and all that and I could easily continue to work okay this is the remote, and it's just about completely dark, and you see how I continue to read uh, everything that's on this little small dial. Yeah. Sorry for all the noise. We live about a mile from the James River here in uh, southeast Virginia. And you're going to hear big ships and trains and a lot of traffic and birds. All right, it's on auto sensing. 
and uh, it's back down to the 25% mark and I give this a passing grade this is awesome uh, done a great job I may yet uh, move it around a little bit uh, try to get the best spot for it but uh, for right now this is really helping me continue working on my uh, projects and stuff like that one more look at uh, it on auto sensing and as you can easily see that it's bright enough over enough over here to continue to work with nails and screws and and everything else and it is well lit and it is not completely dark yet but it's it's close I think the dog is probably sensing a possum or something out there but it is uh, back down to 25 percent and it's easy uh, for me to still move around out here and it's on the other side of the workshop okay like I said I get this a, a passing grade okay it detected me again and I'm still not in a <laughs> complete view All right. Thank you for watching. I, like I said, this is a awesome product. Uh, I'll put the uh, uh, link up here to help you guide to it and stuff like that. But yes, yeah, it's a great product. I like it. I really do.